Right, right, left, left. Wicker, wicker, one time. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to fight an animal in a cage. What animal are you choosing? I think I could knock out a ram. I'm being honest. You know them big sheeps with the horns? I've just planned it in my head. I just grab it by its horn, swing it, and start booting it or something. Thinking you're gonna finish and uh, you don't. I reckon you ask that question again. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you ask that question again. <laughs> 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 The, um, the, oh, Adam Lass. Sorry, mate. I'm looking at Adam. I'm looking at Adam's going in behind. He's sending me. Okay. Take three. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do my most common technique that has happened to every fight, and yeah, that's it. I throw the head, ball, and then I get a tip down. <laughs> that's what I usually do. A UFC world champion, why are you doing it? What's it like? It's reflexes. <laughs> the most embarrassing thing in my search history is... Porn, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. What's the most unusual advice a coach has, has given you during a fight? If you if you have to pull his nipple, pull it. <laughs> and I just had to be like, yeah, bro, we're doing it. If I got to pull his nipple, I'm pulling it, bro. Right, what's the creepiest thing that you could say to a stranger walking past them in the street? Uh, do you want to see my squirtle? It's a, random, it's, a, it's a random one, but I've got a squirtle tattooed on my leg, so I went up to a random stranger and said, you want to see my squirtle? A little rap, a little Ricky Ricky one. <laughs> I'm not spitting no bars. Do you have any hidden talents? I'm from Congo, and this is how I used to call my friend, yeah? You ready for this? Oh my god. That was loud. That was really good. I, I, I've never seen anyone whistle like that before. Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> she has a bro, I'll tell you that. That's amazing. Is there a favourite movie or TV show character that got you more into martial arts? 8 Mile, Eminem, I think that whole that whole story of, of being an underdog and, and coming through and, and coming to show at the top, I think I, I use that quite a lot, yeah. Do you ever find yourself just losing yourself in there, in the cage in the moment? <laughs> in the moment, yeah, definitely. What are some of your red flags? Probably jealous that I'm the most jealous guy you'll ever meet in your life. I, even somewhat last week, I seen Ryan Parkins just got a new opponent um, and he's fighting a month after me. If Ryan, Ryan, mate, if you think you can fight me for five rounds for 15 minutes, be unfazed and fight another five round fight a month after, you're in for a fucking treat. You've got five rounds of me and that's a fucking lot to ask. If it even goes five rounds. Oh, that was intense. Oh, sorry, I, was <laughs> I was scared, scared then. <laughs> well, if you could go and train with someone, who would you train with? Joe Sempia. He's good everywhere, to be fair. He can strike, he can wrestle. Plus, I've heard he like ladies a lot.